G'day sports fans, it's Phantom 100 here. Welcome back to Paladins Champions of the Realm. We're looking forward to playing today. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And uh, we're going to jump straight into it with a character that I've been thinking about playing for a little bit, but I just never really got around to it since I first tried him ages ago. Who are you playing this fella? Atlas. Atlas, big old tank, the man out, out of time. Uh, the last time I played him was quite a while ago. He seemed rather complex, but also interesting. Gave me Tracer vibes from Overwatch, but... Uh, in his own way, um, I'll get to explaining why in a moment. But yeah, I've done a build for him. I haven't tested it in a long time, but we're going to try it today. I've just briefly gone over it before I started recording, and that's it. So we're going to go of Atlas today, try out my build for him, see how it does, hopefully get some good games, and hopefully be useful to our teammates, because he's kind of a very... He is a very team-focused tank, and uh, I'll show you why right now. So, his main attack, his weapon, is called the Chrono Cannon. A futuristic weapon you can charge up to increase its accuracy and damage while firing fewer shots. Deals 840 damage every 1.4 seconds if fully charging your shots. Very unique weapon that you can just spam it or you can charge up your attacks. It makes it very different because it means that basically, depending on the situation, you've got like two play styles out of it, realistically. It's, it's quite, it's quite interesting. The last time I used him, it kind of confused me because I didn't fully read this, but we should be, should be better this video, hopefully. Setback is his right click. Fire a concentration of Cronin Cannonji from your weapon that rewinds your enemy. So this energy, uh, it's like a skill shot, I'm pretty sure, and it rewinds them in so many seconds, so they move backwards. So their their health and their position is all reversed. So they if they if they took damage, then they gain the health back, but they're also reversed back to wherever they were. It's quite interesting. It's great for getting people out of a point, or if the enemy was in a bad spot and they got out of it. You can reverse them and put them back into that bad spot, whether it be in the middle of friendly team or whatever have you. So it's, it's a very interesting skill. Uh, it's 10 seconds, you could use it sparingly. But uh, yeah, we'll try and see if we can get some use out of it today. His F is the second chance. Rewind yourself into the near pass, reversing recent damage and going back to where you were. So I can't remember exactly how far back this puts you, but this is basically a self setback. Um, it's actually really useful, again, for, for saving yourself from issues. And uh, part of our build is actually built upon... Uh, getting more benefits from second chance. Our Q is the stasis field. Create a barrier in front of you to absorb all ranged attacks and projectiles. So I guess in a way it's like anything that hits the barrier is erased from time or something. Because yeah, it, it quite literally absorbs uh, ranged attacks and projectiles. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a great way to fortify positions. If we got a defensive mode, uh, like King of the Hill or something, you put this up and hold it. It's pretty cool. Uh, enemies can walk through it though. His ultimate is Exile. Modify your Cronin weapon to banish enemies from this place of existence for a brief period. So basically, I think they just, I think, for their perspective, I think they just turn invisible or they can't move. Like, like it's, I think it's just some sort of freeze or stasis. I can't fully remember, but, and also I don't remember the, um, if it's an area effect or a point and shoot, I'm not sure. It has been a while since I played Atlas, but his ultimate sounds really cool. And I'm pretty sure I remember being really... Really keen on it when I play Atlas. Like, I remember playing him and being like, oh, heck, this is a character I should play more of. And it never, just never really happened. But, you know, we're playing him today, so. His talents are quite interesting. I don't have the third one unlocked yet. I'm not at mastery level eight, sadly. So, his first one is Unstable Fisher. This is the one that I probably use most of the time. When you use Second Chance, you also rewind enemies within 20 units, three seconds of the past. So, when you Second Chance yourself, it also rewinds enemies. So, along with Setback, you can use your own skill on yourself, and it rewinds your enemies as well. So basically, it resets the board. Temporal Divide is your second one. Greatly increase the size of Stasis Field, which sounds pretty good, but its cooldown is increased by 65%. That's a very, very big cooldown increase. That's why I've never really used it. And the third one is Deja Vu. Setback becomes a lobbed explosive capable of rewinding multiple enemies. This sounds really good. I totally want to unlock this. So instead of like a single shot, Setback will rewind multiple enemies. I think that's really good. That sounds awesome. I really want to unlock that. I wish I had that unlocked for this video so I could test it. Unfortunately, I don't because I'm an idiot and I haven't played him enough. The 65% increase is a bit much, so I think I'm going to use Unstable Fisher for this build. Because, yeah, it's already um, it's already got... Uh, what's it? Is it 18? Because Stasis Field... Yeah, so Stasis Field... It's already a 14 second cooldown. It's already decent length. Um, 65% would be a quite a bit, but I don't remember exactly how much. I have to confirm with me how many seconds it actually is, if you know. Paradox is the name of the build that we're going to be using. So, Ravages of Time. Generate 6% ultimate charge after getting elimination. So this is pretty straightforward. It's nothing overly special. Any character can really do this. 
Um, this is just to get his ult back because it's super, super useful in rewinding people. So I guess I felt the need to have more ultimate charge. Lost Legacy. Heal for 240 every one second for three seconds after activating Stasis Field. So we, we pop the field, which could be obviously a defensive thing, and then we get a bit of self-healing out of it. Beyond the Veil. Passing through Stasis Field increase your allies or your own movement speed by 14% for three seconds. So you create if you create the barrier, the Stasis Field, and then if you or your allies walk through it, so if you place it and you're like, oh, wait, we need to push or whatever, or it's great for using on attack, actually, um, being aggressive, because, yeah, you get movement speed increase. And who wants to deny movement speed increase? Life unlived. Heal for an additional 300 when using Second Chance. So when you use Second Chance to rewind yourself, you get health back. But this gives you additional health. So if you're, like, super weak and you use Second Chance to, to you know, reverse yourself out of there... If you can't undo all the health, this will this will make up for that. This is a little bit of extra healing to try and keep our tanky boy alive. Paradox is our final card. Reduce the cooldown and second chance by 2.5 seconds. Nothing crazy over the top. It's just getting the second chance back because 2.5 seconds that brings it back to uh, da, 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 that brings it back to like um 15 point 15 and a half seconds 15.5. So you know it's nothing crazy. You know 16 16.5. I can't math. It's not a crazy difference, but we want to be able to get it off as soon as possible, and every second in this kind of game counts a lot. So, yeah, we're going to play some games. We're going to see how Atlas does, and uh, hopefully we don't absolutely suck. <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen, Onslaught is going to be the first game of the day. Where is Atlas? There he is. Right at the start. He starts with A, so he's right at the start. Duh. <laughs> He's got some really cool skins. Um, I don't have any of them, though, but some of them are really, really dope. Like this one, this Legionnaire one, looks really sick. But yeah, we don't have any of those. Oh, now it's going to... It's going to stay on him now. That's weird. Just let the skin and it stays on that look. He's got, he's got some cool skins. I really like them. So, 30 seconds left for everyone to pick their heroes. Who are we going to get, do you think? Uh, so, Atlas and Ceres. Got a Vora. Looks like we might get... Oh, we've got a Sati. Sati and possibly Io. Io would be great, actually. Io would be really good along with Sarah. So that'd be sh some strong heals for King of the Hill. No? No, they're changing the one? Ruckus, they are playing. Enemy team is Androxus, Sky, Vora, Ying, and Genos. Two really strong supports on their side. So uh, hopefully, Sarah can, uh, I don't know, compete with them, I suppose. <laughs> it's going to be pretty tough. It's going to be up to me to try and help uh, shield the team, though. So I'm going to have to use my shield quite a lot if we're going to survive this encounter. Alrighty, so I'm definitely going to, definitely doing Unstable Fisher. I feel like that's the best one for the time being. Load our time, boom. And then, I think for Atlas, we want Kronos for sure. Do want Kronos, then probably Havens. We're going to save up for money, but we definitely want Kronos. We want abilities back more often. So, it's this right click. It's this little reversey bully thing. It's this gun. You can charge it up, or you just do regular shots. Uh, the barrier is this, so that's your barrier that defends you. And this is his own rewind with the F, and that's basically it. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's what Atlas' stuff looks like. Nothing crazy advanced, um, but he's pretty fun to play. I had a lot of fun with him when I played him, heck, was it a year ago? Oh, it wouldn't have been that long. Three, two, one, let's go, Super Mario. <laughs> Alright, so the point spawned over here. So, what a good idea is probably to do, place the barrier here, that way if anyone wants to walk through it, they will get the movement speed. Don't know if I should really be leaving the point, no I shouldn't be leaving the point. Hello! Get reversed, oh that didn't work, okay we've got to reverse ourselves though. Look at all the health we just recovered, look at that! I probably should be charging his weapon, but, oh the Vora's scaring me, she hurts. I'm being healed though, Ceres is carrying the heck out of me and I really appreciate it for that. Oh, I missed! I charged up the attack and completely missed Vora. Vora's dead. Made it count. Atlas for a tank does quite a decent amount of damage. Never underestimate the power of the, of the, of the Atlas. We're going to reverse ourselves. Which can be disorientating if you're not paying attention to where you were. Um, which is normally my thing. We place a barrier here. <laughs> reverse that. <laughs> I think that was the, uh, what was that that we just reversed? I don't even know. Doesn't matter, because it worked anyway. Looks like Vora's pushing a little bit too much, considering that, you know, she's a flank. But uh, we're holding this point pretty well, i got to say. Where's the enemy team going to come from? I'm going to put the barrier up the side there. 
Saris is our only healer, but she is healing the heck out of us. I should actually, I should try playing um, Saris at some point. I think she's really strong. I wasted my shots again. I'm really bad at getting the, the charge shot in because it's hard to get used to how much time you have to proc it. I'm just going to start moving this way. Guys, we've got to move. We've got to move. Oh, that did a lot of damage. There we go. That's a dead ying. That's one half of the... Okay, he's ulting. We've just got to get out of there. We've got to get out of there. Actually, what would be funny is if Androx has activated his ult and we reverse and then rewinded him, would um would he lose or regain his ult charge? What would happen? Would he stay in ult? I'm not sure. But I'm going to sit here anyway. Oh, we nearly stole that kill. That would have been funny if we'd have stolen, <laughs> stolen the, uh, the Androx. Not the Androx, it's the Genos. I can't read the kill feed. I'm an idiot. <laughs> We're doing a good job of holding this anyway. The enemy team is putting up a huge resistance. Not that I mind. I'm a little disappointed, but I don't really mind. Is that a cardboard cutout? What the fudge? Okay, that must be something that Sati does. I have no knowledge of Sati, but... Does she place cardboard cutouts of herself? Because that's kind of jank. It's funny. It's definitely jank. Uh, what if we do this? Why won't you reverse? No! Why won't my reverse go off? <laughs> I hit them and it didn't reverse them and then mine wouldn't activate. Fudge. That's depressing. Uh, we'll buy Haven now. So we can be more tanky. We'll buy morale boost so we can get that off. And then we'll go life rip because we feel like it. Um, we'll upgrade the life rip. We'll upgrade the Kronos. There we go. Alright, that should do the trick. I always forget to buy items in this game mode. And in TDM as well. Especially since you're not dead for very long. Oh, the Androx has just got his day ruined. I'm going to place a barrier, actually. That's a good idea. Let's slow them down a little bit. And if the friendly team wants to walk through it, they're more than welcome to get the movement speed boost. I think that you'd, you'd benefit from that a lot more if people know that's how it works. Otherwise, they're not going to think about walking through the barrier. It's great for aggressive pushes. But it's better with the teammates if you can tell them, Hey guys, if you walk through that, you get movement speed. And they're like, oh, okay. And they just know, you know. What are you doing, Androxus? Oh, you absorbed that? Okay, well played. Well played. I didn't know that he could absorb that. We need to try and get our ult off if we can, too. We need to find an opportunity to use our ulti. But it's not going to be on the, the Vora, because she dead. Oh, I didn't hit the rewind quick enough. I was going to hit F and rewind myself as I got weak, but uh, I didn't. I forgot. Because, again, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> My reaction time ain't when I used to be. I'm not as young as I once was. I'm not aging. I'm not aging gracefully at all. Aging. I'm aging sadly. <laughs> Catch a point of spawn. Where is it? It's over this way. Oh, it's just over here. Oh, that's easy to get to. Heck. That's the easiest catch a point I've ever moved to. It's such an effortless little cycle. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah's amazing. She's been carrying us so much. I need a bit of... I need them to be aggressive. I need the enemy team to be aggressive so I can pop my ult already. I'm going to place a barrier here. Come on. Someone be aggressive. I need to ult. I don't know if it's a long range attack. I just want someone to get in my face so I can ult them. So I can watch them get rewound to absolute hell and back. Oh, that would have been good if it hit. I'm going to place a barrier here. Can't sit here and pressure us on the side of the barriers blocking it, can you, nerd? What are you doing here? Okay, now he can. Oh, imagine if that hit. Imagine. Just imagine if those shots hit. Huh. Oh, where are you? What are you doing? Oh, okay, then. Well, that's. that's. Oh, that's a Genos. I guess what? Then we'll reverse and get our health back. Lol. Just completely undid the damage he did, just like that. Catch a point of spawning, okay. Oh, the damage! Did you see that kill? That is how you do it. Oh my god, that's how you do it. Okay, you're getting altered. Yeah, oh, it's multiple shots. Okay. Hey, you just get put in stasis. <laughs> see, then they just can't move. And then we'll rewind, get our health back, and then back off. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh she does so much damage. Oh my god. Barrier. Where's the point move to? Oh, hello, Androxus. Hello. Oh, God, he killed me. Okay. <laughs> About time. We'll upgrade Haven twice more. 
So we've got some damage reduction just to make us incredibly annoying. This game is going really well. I'm feeling really good about uh, Atlas right now. This is probably one of my best Atlas games. That charge up kill on the um, on the Vora before. So satisfying to get. I sw oh no, I didn't hit F in time. I'm so slow. <laughs> Every time I get weak, it's like, dude, hit F, rewind yourself, get your health back. But no, I'm too stupid. I keep forgetting. I'm too slow. We're about to win though. Like it's yeah, it's not even close. This game's not even close. I could say it's close to be polite, but uh, there you go, GG. <laughs> Wow, that was a good game. Well, I mean, it wasn't really a good game for them, but uh, I felt like I did okay as Atlas. Got some good kills, got a charge-up kill. I ain't complaining about it. I'm pretty happy, actually. <laughs> Let's see, we got Lynchpin, Objective Time. That's because that's what we do as a tank. We sit on the objective, and we be awesome. Teamwork, 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 and teamwork, because I loved how the team performed. Scoreboard time. So, whoa, the Ceres did 61,000. Look at that heal, she carried, man. Um, even though I self healed myself, I didn't get any healing as a score, which is interesting. We went 6 and 4, so not crazy, but 6 kills for a tank, I'll take it. 70,000 damage, we did more damage than the Ruckus did, so I guess as a tank we performed better than he did. I guess that's who we'd compete with. I feel pretty good about that. I wonder if I can do better than 6 and 4. Only one way to find out, and that is to re for another one. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go! And everyone, ladies and gentlemen, we are now doing... I said everyone and ladies and gentlemen all at once. <laughs> Got excited. Playing some Siege now. So a bit of a longer game mode, but this will allow us to show off Atlas just a little bit more because, you know, we'll be able to put a barrier up on the point if we capture it. It'll help capping the point. Um, and also, this will promote walking through the barrier for movement speed, hopefully. Like, I'll put the barrier in front of the payload if we're pushing it, and then people will walk through it. So I'm hoping that we'll see more movement speed benefits for ourselves and for the team. Only time will tell, depending on how everybody plays and who we get. With 25 seconds left to go, everyone's locking in. Uh, currently, we have no damage character on our team. That'd be kind of awkward, but kind of need the support too if they... Yeah, okay, so Atlas, Grok, Makoa, Sky, and Talos. No damage characters, but two flanks. I'm not complaining. Enemy team is still thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> hmm. They've only got two lock-ins. That's not... Ooh, okay, no, here we go. They're all locking last minute. Uh, last enemy team member? Yes. Tyra, Khan, Ceres, Fatu, and Maeve. Ooh, okay, so they have the Ceres this time. Can our Grok at heal the Ceres? So while I'm playing, that's going to be our little, um, our little secret bonus objective. When we get to the scoreboard, will Grok at heal Ceres? I'm going to guess right now that no. I'm going to guess that Grok can't at heal Ceres, but that's just my opinion. We'll wait until the final score. <laughs> So, we, we're going to be using Unstable Fisher again because, yeah, I need I need to be able to rewind enemies. I just feel like it's the best thing. Paradox, equipping that. Then we're going to go, hmm, I'm thinking, actually, we're going to go Haven first. We're going to go Damage Reduction first this time. And I feel like, would Nimble be useful? We'll go Nimble. We can get to the point faster. We're going to try that, see how that works out for us. I have no idea if the movement speed bonus is going to be enough to matter. But that combined with getting the movement speed through a barrier might be enough. You, you just never know, you know? You never know what will count. I do feel like I had a bit of movement speed then, so we'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Spin to win, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Let's get to this point. Let's cap it. And let's have a good time. That, hopefully in that order. Place the barrier here, so not quite on the point, but enough that we can defend. People can pass through it. Uh, we're going to hit the rewind here on the Khan, but he absorbed it. It's fine. It's okay. We let him know that we're here. Oh, nearly killed the tie right quick. Rewind ourselves. We need to put our barrier up again right now. I'm going to reload while we're sitting here behind the barrier. Oh man, I need to time that better. I keep hitting the Khan's shield. I would love to actually rewind him. Hey, what are you doing? Who do you think you are? I don't think so. I don't think so. Get out of here, Tyra. Evil little woman. How dare you come in behind me? That should be capping. Yeah, there we go. Objective captured, because that's how we do it around here. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to place the barrier here. Right? Covers the payload as it pushes up. And people get the movement speed as they walk through it. Hopefully they notice that. Nicole got it anyway. 
Let's just reverse someone. Oh, wait. That's one. There we go. Best way to escape is just a real one. I love it. Bit of AoE effect there. Uh, oh, the bubble. Thank you, Makar. Love Makar having the bubble. Here, let me put this Let me put this barrier up here real quick, too. Combination of bubble and barrier should uh, be everything we need. It may have just got destroyed by Talos. Good job, buddy. Hey, Makar. I mean, not Makar. Khan, how long can you put your shield up for, mate? That's what I thought. Oh my god, he's got ruined. Grok coming in with the lightning ultimate. Love to see it. He had his ult already. What are you doing? What are you doing, Maeve? I don't think you should be here. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. We're going to rewind, get our health back. And then we're going to get out of there. Oh, there's fire in the ground. I don't like it. Alright, we're going to place a barrier here. Oh, push successful just like that. Oh, can we kill? Yes, the Ceres died at the very end. <laughs> nice work, Grok. Support on support. Grok destroyed the Ceres. Like to see it. Uh, we're going to go Kronos here. And then... Hmm... This is tricky. I could... You know what? Let's make life hell for that Ceres. Let's go Cauterize. Yep, we're going Cauterize. We're going to make life hell for her. She's, she's, we're going to see if we can neutralize any of that. So the idea now is to just, like, poke each um, enemy character if we can. As a tank, our role isn't really to get the kills, so if we just poke them all and reduce the healing that Ceres does with Cauterize, that could make a huge difference. Two, one. Spin to win. Let's get in there. All right, so that was the first good push. Feeling pretty good about that. If we cap and push again, the game's just over, just like that. And I feel like this team can do it. Put this barrier down. I'm just gonna throw out the rewind there. I don't think I hit anyone with it. So the Khan's got reduced healing, because we just love tapping him. Well, the enemy team is getting wiped out. I just looked at the kill feed and was like, whoa, hold up. Okay. Okay. What kind of professionals did I sign up with? <laughs> did I get some sort of, like, group of four professional players? Because, oh my god, we are demolishing. This is going to be the shortest seeds game I've ever played at this rate. I mean, I don't want to count the chickens before they hatch kind of thing, but I mean, this is pretty indicative so far. <laughs> Let's push up. Stay on the payload, though. It's going to stay here with the payload. That's the best thing. We're going to place the barrier here, just in case. We have our ult ready. Could go forward and push him into stasis mode. We're going to do it. Let's throw out some stasis. And then we're going to... Oh, we can't rewind ourselves while we're not this. Yes, we can. What am I saying? They weren't in stasis very long, but I think that was enough to pressure them. I'm going to place the barrier right here. Tara is ultimately going to discover her death. We're going to hit Ceres as well, so that she can't heal herself as easily. Grok is going all in. Is he actually going to outheal the Ceres? Is he is he going to like completely destroy my my little lame prediction? We'll show you how much I know about the game when he outheals the Ceres. Eh? Me being like, oh yeah, there's no way you can outheal Ceres. <laughs> no way at all. Impossible. <laughs> We're about to absolutely decimate these guys. And I, I almost feel kind of bad about it. Really, really strange Sheeds game. I, just, I do not know what the skill gap here is. But, uh, well, I mean, that wasn't that wasn't the best showing of Atlas, because that was just me getting carried, but he's a fun character, and I love playing him. Like, I'm definitely going to play him more. I need to level him up. And get the access to that third talent, because I think that talent's going to be pretty awesome. Objective time we got. We got Lynchpin twice in a row. Let's go. Let's see. Teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork and teamwork. Is there a possible communication that just says, like, OP needs a nerf? Because that's what the friendly team just should be getting. To the scoreboard, and let's see how we did here. So, we went 1 and 0, so we only got the 1 kill, but we didn't die at all. Okay, so that automatically makes it 10 times better than last game. Um, 52,000 to the Ceres, who got 18. Oh my god, yeah. He out healed the Ceres. That's. That's literally against what I thought. Did he go... Is there a way to look at what everyone got? Scoreboard? No. Because what I'm wondering is, did Grok take the talent? Um, I can't actually see what everyone's talents are. I wanted to see if maybe he took the talent where you could, if you shoot people, you heal them. I use that all the time. Because that's a lot more healing than I expected. Holy heck. And here I was saying, oh, he can't out heal Ceres. <laughs> Normally he wouldn't be able to. She does a lot, but obviously I was wrong. Maybe he's always been the better healer. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's Atlas. 
He's a cool character. He's currently, you've got this little symbol here. He's currently in rotation as one of the characters free to play. So if you're not cool like me, you don't have the, the, the champion pass that gives you every champion straight away. Um, try Atlas while he's on rotation. Like, give him a go. He's a cool character. I like him. I think he's a really unique tank. Um, I, I love the reverse time idea. It's really cool, especially second chance for winding yourself. That's so good. It's basically a powerful self heal and I love it. But yeah, give them a go, guys. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me. Hitting all those buttons and sticking around helps me out so much. When I reach 300 subscribers, there's going to be a giveaway for you guys that stuck around. There's going to be a $100 Steam gift card and three months YouTube premium going to two different winners. So if you want one of those things, then stick around, hit that button, that sort of thing. It's all free, and I really appreciate it. Helps me out. I'm trying to grow bigger, and uh, it's kind of my dream. So <laughs> stick around for those. <laughs> So until the next time, guys, thanks so much. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Oh, and let me know if there's a character you want me to play. I'll, I'll, I'll take any suggestion at this point because I've almost played. I've almost done a video on every character I've ever played. So suggestions would be really awesome. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom 100 and I'm signing out for now.